Piracy and cheating have been problems for video games ever since they were invented. Today, I'll be talking through some of the challenges in fighting these issues on the Oculus standalone platform. My name is Shaheen, and I work on security technologies for Oculus headsets. Our operating system is based on Android. Android is a very open platform for a number of reasons. First, applications don't have to be signed by a specific entity in order to be installed. Second, Android offers users a command shell where they can administer the device as well as run command line tools. Third, the Android community is very large and has a wide variety of freely available tools. Oculus Quest is like a video game console in many ways, but one key difference is that every Oculus Quest can be a development kit. Like Windows, users can poke around the device using the command shell. Unlike Windows, users don't get super user access. The access that they do have, though, gives them enough to poke around the system and applications. Together, these attributes make it easier for everyone to develop for VR, but they also make it easier for a user to reverse engineer applications. While an open platform encourages more and more people to build for VR, it also presents challenges in fighting issues like piracy and cheating. Android is also an open source platform. The code is a great benefit to developers who are looking to learn how the system behaves, as well as debug reliability and performance problems. Open source also means that it takes less effort for someone to potentially build a compatible platform, like an emulator. This means you have fewer guarantees about whether the platform underneath your application is trustworthy. Being able to trust the platform is an important factor in how you choose to protect your content. If the platform underneath you is an emulator, it can be difficult to trust fundamental things like time. Facebook works to build that trust in the platform by enabling certain features like secure and verified boot. We also ship security patches with our monthly releases. Finally, we're also continuing to invest in platform integrity by building attestation technologies and services. So watch out for those in the near future. Because the Android platform is so open, it's wise to take steps to ensure the authenticity and integrity of your own content. For example, verify assets when you load them into memory, or treat multiplayer clients as if they're adversarial. Verifying your own content may feel a little bit silly, but it's a prime vector for abuse from hackers. Here are some more quick tips to help protect your content. Cryptographically signing your assets will move the burden for hackers from manipulating your data to manipulating your code, which is much more difficult. Treat network clients as adversarial bots. If you host a web service, take steps to ensure that only authentic clients are connecting. Finally, fixing security vulnerabilities in your applications will deter hackers from exploiting them. To highlight that last point, here's a screenshot of the security vulnerabilities test results page in the developer dashboard. There, you'll find a list of security vulnerabilities that we've found in your application. Fixing them is super important for applications that do a lot of networking. This was a very quick introduction to the challenges of fighting piracy and cheating on the Oculus standalone platform, and some of the things that you can do to protect your own content. There's much more than can be covered in a lightning talk, and every application and game is different. So please help us understand how you're experiencing these issues so that we can build solutions together. As you move forward in building your content, consider how hackers can manipulate it. This will go a long way towards identifying the right solutions for everyone. Thank you.